Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Elex. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we fight some guys that are over here somewhere. Hi! Oh my god. He just now noticed that, uh, that we are dealing with an enemy here. Yes, we have a companion, and he talks. He says many things. Unfortunately, he's very bad at fighting, as you can tell. Speaking of better fighting, die there. Oh, I get the experience from his skills. That's good game design. Basic game design, but not at all a problem. That's definitely good. I say basic game design because sometimes, sometimes you never know. And uh, yeah, he says things. He he doesn't like me. He doesn't just doesn't like me because of the, the things I stand for. Also, don't like him because he thinks too much of himself, really. He thinks he thinks. I asked him, I asked him his skill set, and he's like, yeah, I, I, I think. I can think, and then you compliment my, my skill set, because you don't think. He, he insinuated. <laughs> it wasn't quite like that, though. It wasn't quite like that. The good thing is, it's actually it's not, not bad at all, these companions, uh, apart from the fact that he talks about a little bit too much. What is that? That little box. I want that little box. I love that little box. I want to marry it. Please. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Hand grenade, though. I love the hand grenade a little bit more. Yeah, that little box is really cool. I wish I had one like that. Mm. It's little items like this, guys. It's little items like this that make up a man's life. Or a woman's. I should just say a man because I'm a man. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... it's ooh, that's a mutant. That's going to be interesting. But it's good game design that, like, he walks and goes where he wants to. He... that mutant is gonna destroy him. Oh, no. Ooh, that was bad. Need to be careful with... That mutant is gonna kill me. Because he's gonna show up and, uh... He's gonna ruin my evening. Or my afternoon, I guess. 125, that's pretty good. Uh, and, um... He also... and the fact that he doesn't steal my experience... I am satisfied with the way the game does companions. And he hasn't been talking a bunch either. I'm the one that talks a lot. But that's my job. What's that? Why is there a health bar to the left? Where's this rat? There it is. <clears throat> that's a vicious attack to kill a rat, man. Not a rat, man. Oh boy. You idiot! He knows. He knows who, who's the most dangerous. Like the experience. Yeah. They're not skull enemies, so we're, we're okay. Okay. And we have a locker for Kalan. With dried meat in it. Yeah, I probably should start eating dried meat. I have... There's a noise. That's a radio, isn't it? That's a radio. I think so. Radios, working radios in a post-apocalyptic world are the worst idea since exploding cars and glued together skeletons. They are just, no. Please, no. Just, uh, no? Because they don't work, they wouldn't work. Radio, especially, especially old school radios, which these are not. These would be probably made out of transistors, which sort of last for a little while longer, I suppose. But especially old school radios, they are so, so fragile. So fragile. They would burn, they're, because they have, they have a, it's a radio, see, I told you. That one, yeah, there's probably one is, is like an old school radio. We got a photograph in here of the team. Hey guys, thank you for making the game. Having a blast. Um, but yeah, especially old school radios, because the valve that they have, or had, have still um, very few people make them anymore which is a big shame especially for guitar players guitar you know guitar amplifiers have valves the nice ones do I mean you can have a nice one that doesn't have valves but you know it's a matter of preference really but uh, I prefer valve the valves I prefer valve sounds because they sort of utilize their sound I'm attacking you are my god this guy so descriptive that was pretty good, actually. He did a bunch of damage to this guy. Huh. 
I'm gonna save a bunch of a bunch of ammo with with a companion. Mm hmm. Uh, so ooh, a tattered journal. Well, I'll go get back to the valve discussion in a little bit. Let's see the photograph we have already. Thank you. Uh, and the tattered journal right there. He will come. He said he would come. I didn't understand everything he told me on the phone, just that I need to wait here. That's all that is important. I heard a noise outside, but I didn't dare to go to the window to look. I pretend... Space. I pretend that I am not here until he comes. The door is locked. Nobody can get in here without saying the word. The whole world has flipped on its head. People have gone mad with fear. I've seen people change. Part of me hopes that it's over soon, but I don't believe that it will be. You didn't say anything else, just we're going to a safe place, a project. I tried to... Yeah, we've heard about this project. Uh, I tried to call him, but the line is dead. He will come soon. He will come soon. Then he, this nightmare will be over. I'm thinking that the gods of these clerics, the god of this cleric, might be an AI. It's quite obvious. They don't know what it is. And it might be an AI made with uh, the uh, info and data and souls and personalities and all that sort of stuff of, uh, of the people that existed in the previous world. We've got a scribbled book over there. The recipe for thick blood. <laughs> well, just need to eat a, a lot of a lot of uh, red meat or something. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, just don't take aspirins because that that's gonna make it less thick. Uh, scribbled book. Your silhouette, your perfect form. How you move when you think no one is watching. An angel sublime. But that, I but that I was worthy of you. But that I could find the way. Oh, but that in the sense that you know he wasn't. Yeah, anyway, I am the sinner in your grace. Forgive me. Give me grace. Let me win my salvation. That is terrible. Actually, that was bad. I mean, that was not good. There's, there wasn't a single lyrical line. A line that like, sort of... The, the line about salvation... Oh, collectible toy. Uh, the line about salvation was a little bit lyrical. A little bit, but a little bit... The problem is, it, it's too predictable. Don't don't give me common place things. I mean, I'm talking to the character that wrote that, not the the writers of the game. Ooh, got a rat over here. <laughs> Smack. Okay. Nothing else over here. Just a bunch of these chairs. Oh yeah, the valves. Ooh, this is not good. Ooh, this is bad. Okay. Dare. Yeah, I see. Okay, they didn't get hit by that. Also, they don't have a... Good. Ooh, got hit by that one. Uh, so, the valves. So, basically, how the sound is amplified. I mean, the electrical signal that is the sound is amplified to the speakers, or through the speakers. No, actually, to the speakers would be the correct uh, word, way of putting it. Um, is using a specific device. So, it requires a, a specific... Thing. And usually, in modern day, it would be transistors, or that's actually microchips that can uh, mimic the the um, mimic the uh, the functionality and the way uh, valves work. But those are very expensive to make; they're fairly new as well. So usually, when you hear sound from an electrical device, it's going to be through a transistor. It's amplified through a transistor um, because if it wasn't amplified, you wouldn't be able to hear it very well. Uh, it just doesn't. They, doesn't have strength. That's, mm, let's think, uh, think of, like, for example, headphones. Non-amplified headphones don't have a transistor, transistor amplifying them. Well, they kind of, they do, but it's just, anyway, pretend that it doesn't. It's technical. It doesn't matter. Um, that's, you can't, you, if you, if you, if you have a, you can't have, um, you can't have that level of energy. Ooh, waitress's journal. Second. I'm gonna look for the first and then I'll read that. Um, but you can't have that level of energy that's put through to the headphones on a normal speaker because the speaker is going to be very, very quiet. This is actually not going to sound anything because there's a such a thing called uh, uh, impedance or impedance, whichever. It basically means that the energy is not enough to move the, the speaker, to move the little, sp like, membrane. Um, there's a lot of drugs that I can take them. That's a shame. Um, but what happens is the piece that is going to amplify the sound is usually a transistor but in the olden days it would be a valve and I'm not really sure if you can do some sort of uh, 
As the God Clan has protected us from the downfall until this day, so he will always stand with us during <coughs> difficult times. Clan offers salvation and protection for all those who give themselves to him. This is me, Herbert, broadcast to bring a warning to Wait a minute. people out there. Stay is he here? No. This is the radio that's making the sound. That sounded very good for a speaker. <laughs> yeah, he didn't kill my companion. Talk about good design right there. Good stuff. Okay, so he stopped. So yeah, basically, um, I don't know if there's a way to make a, a like a handmade transistor or valve or whatever, but uh, generally, <laughs> that doesn't matter. What happens is that in the olden days, you could have valves instead of transistors because you didn't have you didn't have uh, transistors until or before I think the 70s, uh, and all the radios had this little lamp that made a light and warmed up and stuff that uh, that they used. That's why you see some some of the uh, old radios just have a lamp, little lamp inside. That's not like a on lamp. That's the thing that's making that's making the the radio work or you know the column anyway the speaker work the radio itself can receive signal just might not be able to make you know put out the the sound um and the valves they they give a, a light that's a sort of a by byproduct of the way they are built and the way they work and i'm not really sure how they work i should know i kind of wanted to know but i could never find a whole lot of information on that um when i was looking for it so yeah but the thing is they are very very fragile and a radio that I don't I don't know I think they would just they break they would break they would just not work and also that's another that's another thing besides all of this stuff and I'm, I'm just thinking of you know when the the comet hit and all that sort of stuff and just neglect and shaking about and not doing all that stuff or just decay valves also they decay. It just, they stop working after a while. That's why if you pick up an old radio that's been sitting on a attic for for many years, you're not gonna, it's not gonna work. You need to put a new valve in. Probably to rework the wiring and all that sort of stuff. And that's actually not that difficult, as long as you know what valve it takes. Or maybe you want to change the valve. You can change the valve, the, the type of valve that it, that it has. Um, but yeah. And uh, apparently, there's some regulation that's gonna make it um, illegal to mass-produce valve uh, devices. I think here in Europe, I heard about that. Uh, so they're gonna have to have special authorizations for uh, for making guitar amplifiers that use valves, because they are specific. They're the the way the valve is used. Oh, that guy never filled up, did he? Well, I removed the engine from his car, put it on top of his bonnet, but whatever. Um, the way a guitar amplifier uses the valve is a different way than a radio. Uh, and the valves are made a different way as well and used for different purposes so it's not it's not the normal way you'd see you can still amplify a, a oh? that man he's the one I saw on the mountain oh. the one who took my armor the jerk listening to the radio kill him <sighs> no you idiot so we meet again I don't know what you're talking about what do you want from me my equipment, my armor. Hey, watch the blade. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not a blade. That's a crowbar. See the thickness of that? Where are the things you stole from me? Stole? Stole? Hey, just relax there, okay? We can talk everything over calmly without the need for accusations. I'll get you a drink at the fort, yeah? What do you say? Can I say no? What? A drink won't pay for the equipment and armor you stole, you asshole. Shit! Shit! You're him? How did you survive? Honestly, I didn't think I was stealing. I, I thought it was salvage. I thought you were dead. Three years before execution. Oh no! Why am I- Oh boy. We've been here. Shit, what happened here? You think Baxter did this? No, look at the blast marks. This was Alb's. Fuck. 
You think they're still around? Could be. I heard that an Alp commander moved into this area. Then let's get the fuck out of here. You can't run from those guys. They want you dead, you're dead. All Elix to the hybrid. Shit. Is that him? Uh, hey man, you can have the Elix. We'll get out of here. We're just here to look for this guy. We've seen what we need to, so we can go back to the Duke. No trouble, yeah? The Duke is irrelevant. All must bow to the hybrid. Or die. You don't want to do this. The hybrid's will shall be served. Talk about indifference. Just tell me where my armor is. Hey, hey! Before you start threatening me, remember who you are. And where you are. You're an Alb. An Alb commander. Your own people will want you executed. And so will all the factions if they find out who you are. So calm down and stop drawing attention to yourself. Are you crazy? Who would believe you even if you live long enough to be believed? I want my armor back. You're going to give it to me. Yes, I got that. But you have to help me first. You see, I've got some people after me. I need some help dealing with them. So you really think I'll forgive you and help out? Hey, wow! Losing the Elix has brought out your emotions. But think, I can help you. What? And I can't pay you back for that equipment if I'm dead. It's in your interest to help me out. Wait a minute, you sold my equipment? I'm here for my armor. I don't have it. Oh. I sold it off. Ah. Sold it to who? You have to, to understand, it's gone. To who sold it to whom? Easy thing is to me or to I? It's to me, so it's whom. Anyway, like, who did you sell it to? That would be, whom did you sell it to? Who sold this would be who, because I sold this. Anyway, did you steal from, yeah, let's go that. Did you steal from these people too? You were a dead man. You can't steal from a dead man. I can. And surely that's how you want me to remember it. That you're dead. You don't want people to know you're alive. I want you to die. Are you die. threatening me? Please kill me. No. I'm saying we could help each other. You don't need the Alves or anyone chasing you. And I need to get these guys off my back. I... You left me to die after stealing from me. Why shouldn't I leave you to die? You're an Alb, a fighter. But you don't know the world outside of Zaycor like I do. I know how people think. You think I need lessons in psychology? Lessons in psychology? Just listen to yourself, man. You don't even talk like real people do. You certainly don't. You'll get cheated, betrayed. And that's if no one figures out who you are. I don't need you. You haven't so far. You've got lucky. You might be an expert in war, Commander. But trust me, out there, you're a beginner. You need someone with a flair for business. Someone who can sniff trouble before you hit it. I really don't want to join you. Also, I'm not a beginner. I've been playing this for 50-something episodes, so shut up. Well, good. Let's assume I am buying this nonsense. Come with me into the fort. That's like the outlaws HQ here in Tavar. You have and them? when we get there? You can help me get in. There are some things there I have to sort out. But I'll have a lot of trouble trying to get in alone. It won't take long to get what I need. What is it you're planning to steal? Steal? That was just one time and I thought you were dead. Look. There's some guy put a price on my head. A full contract with my name on it, and I don't know who it is or why they've done it. I mean, I'm Ray. Lovable Ray. Who wants to kill Ray? I do. Well, someone does, and I have to find out who it is before I get a bullet in my head. Can I say no to this? These guys who are after you, are they the reason you left it down? Yeah. And finding you? Finding your stuff gave me the funds to clear out before they caught up with me. So I came back here into the desert. Seems we're both on the run, hey? Partners in crime? You help me, I help you. And you really don't know who put a price on your head? Yeah. I mean, no. That's part of what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I'm Ray. Happy Ray. Friendly Ray. The guy you want at your campfire, Ray. There's not a crew I've worked for didn't want me back. 
I... And yet someone wants you dead. I do. Exactly. And for what? It's not like I've stolen anything big enough to get someone this pissed with me. Present company accepted. All right. But don't make me regret it. Huh, yeah, of hey, course. people can say what they want about you ice blocks. But there's a heart somewhere under that cold skin. I love my well, ice blocks. at least a while after you've come down from Elix. Get out of here before I change my mind. I am already gone. I'll wait on you at the entrance to the fort. We are gonna do good things together. Just don't take too long, okay? He still said three sentences that after was remarkable. said. Was it remarkable, Falk? I'm gonna... This guy is annoying. Falk is annoying. My god. My god, who wrote him? <laughs> why did you inflict this pain on me? And why... I'm sure he was the same person that... That, uh, that made that skeleton be like that. Definitely. Definitely. Skeletons don't work like that! Why is there a flyer over there? But the meat disappeared. The paper didn't. Got tiny knives. Got more flyers. Sandy got book plus one. Or not plus one. Nobody was knives. getting through. There was complete chaos on the roads. We we're turning around and taking the inland path. They're saying to stick to higher ground in case of tsunamis, but that's going to take too much time. Elix took deep into the bones of our world and bones of our creatures, twisting them into new I really need to shut form. this radio off. But Elix does this to animals. Elix shuts you up. That's what I should My dear fellows, I am so deeply sorry to keep you waiting. Tonight, she is beautiful. Oh. Was that a podcast? And what is she? The moon? Is she not beautiful the other nights? That's why I said the moon. But then again, she might not be beautiful the other nights. A little bit of of uh, the thing that I don't know the name of that looks like, I don't know, glue or dust? Not dust. There's a thing that c sort of covers up the uh, imperfections of the skin. A little bit of uh, mascara. Uh, a little bit of, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, I, know it, I know the names in Portuguese, I just don't know the names in English. Eyeliner, that's the word. Um, and... Uh, I suppose a few more things. A little bit of uh, lipstick. Okay, so we got four over there. And we got two over here. Okay, so we got four over here. This is gonna fail. No, we didn't. Oh. Okay, so I need that. And there we go. Too easy. Yep. Thank God for uh, adaptive, like, changing uh, sensibilities in the mouse that I have, like, a, a thing. A scrap scavenger hat. It's better than my hat. Why is that? Hmm. Protection from the sun, if not from gunfire. It said it's it's got three three protection of from from gunfire. Why is my hat terrible? What hat am I using? Oh, it's like the oh okay. I'm I'm yeah. Oh yeah. I can now go to the ice palace. With my ass block. Oh, yeah. Um, ass block sounds like a... Like, I don't know. Uh, solution G or whatever. I don't know. I don't know these things. I don't know many things. Uh, let's go, go upstairs because I'm sure it's going to be some stuff. What does it say? Sandy Pines. Inn and Diner. It... Uh, well, it was an inn all right. That's pretty cool. Sandy Pines. Why is it... Because, like, there's pines and there's a desert over there. There's no desert. The guy was talking about, I came here to the desert. No, you didn't. What are you talking about? Um, okay, so we have a few things to read. Let's read them. Sandy Guidebook plus one. Or, uh, Sandy Guidebook, yeah. Most outlaws have forgotten how to live in the wilderness on their own. They sit on their fat arses in the Baxter's Fort and are no longer able to care for themselves. But not me. I know how to survive out here. I will write it down for anyone who has had enough of living under Baxter's control. Rule number one. Don't get lost. Rule... Just straight to rule number two. This guy is clearly not very intelligent. Oh my god. Why did he not keep the... Anyway. Um, if you do get lost, don't panic. Take your shinies and shiniest, most colorful things and spread them out on the ground in a large area or hang it in a tree. If someone is looking for you, it will be easier to find you. Yeah, and to get killed as well. Take toilet paper with you. If you don't have any, a cloth and water will do. Or n water? Or a cloth? Or actually... 
we'll talk about that later. Let me tell you, there is nothing worse than dropping one off in the desert and not having anything to clean it up. You have sand! You have sand! You can clean it up with sand! It's the best! I hear. I never tried it, actually. It's a good thing I didn't. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can wash yourself with sand. Uh, as crazy as that sounds, because it works as a sort of sandpaper. <laughs> Except without the paper. Uh, long... But that's how you wash... Like, you can send blast things to remove the paint off of things. And that's basically the same thing. Although you don't have... You don't send blast yourself. That probably wouldn't be bad. Uh, long clothing... Those guys and girls in the fort with their short clothes wouldn't last two days out here. You lose too much water with exposed skin. It is also really cold at night. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's not really about the exposed skin. Uh, it's more about the temperature, because you want to keep yourself cold. And uh, sh shadow is good. So we got a journal over here. Sandy is a son of a bitch, says the waitress. I am gone as soon as I have enough money. I'll find myself a better job and leave. Space? I think I should apply to Infinite Skies. They pay a lot better. The adverts look amazing. So even if 50% of that is bullshit, they will be way better than here. I have, I have had enough of this place and the guys he gets into the spare room. The latest guy, he lived in the back room for over a month. He's always staring at me. Doesn't he have a life? All he does is sit at the same table and write in his scribbled, crazy notebook. The guy probably thinks himself an artist or something. His stare is driving me crazy. He's probably got some trouble in his head as well. Uh, he was listening to the radio today while washing up. Oh, then you really should quit. There was a man who claimed that a comet is going to destroy everything soon. My hands are shaking at the thought of it. It was just a crazy guy who hacked into the radio, but he sounded so certain, so convinced. But it's some crazy guy, right? Sandy doesn't believe the rumors. He wants to leave the diner open. He's even talking about a comet party on the day the guy said it would hit us. A lot of people have panicked. The roads were jammed today. People going in different directions looking for a safe place. Sandy takes their mo money and laughs at them. He thinks they're idiots. This afternoon, a woman who was, was completely hysterical showed up. She absolutely believed that we were going to die. Well, it's a good thing that we have the second journal over there. Sandy took away my journal. No, he didn't. You're writing on it. Oh, wait a minute. That's the second journal. Yeah, good point. As if my, as if taking my words would change my mind. I'm not going to keep this in the diner anymore. A man was there this evening. Oh, that's right. We didn't find this in the diner. A man was there this evening. He could have been my grandfather. He knew a lot about the Comet and Infinite Skies. I listened to him for a long time. I think Infinite Skies is the company that we uh, heard about before. Uh, until Sandy told me he'd fire me without pay. As soon as I get the money, I am leaving. I don't want to die here. I asked the nice old man if he would take me, but he said it would be too dangerous. That made me think. I should ask more people. I can find a way out instead of just waiting. There was a sweet young guy in the diner. Apparently, it's only guys that come in here. He sat at the window with, for a very long time and kept looking at the motel. He looked like he was waiting for someone or on someone. He also asked me if the room next to Mr. Creepers were, uh, was occupied. When he left along with a tip, he gave me a piece of paper. Tonight at midnight, when the diner is closed at the parking lot. This is my ticket out of here. Or he just wanted uh, some fun. Are you young, fit and healthy? Are you looking for a new exciting opportunity? Visit Infinite skies for a better future. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not Kalan or Kuran or whatever. If you're a writer, if you're a writer and uh, you're thinking of introducing the variety of uh, word deterioration over time to your world, make sure you study. Make sure you look it up. Make sure you actually, the easiest thing would be just to talk to a linguist. Call one up right now. If you're making that into your game, or your world, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Call one linguist up and ask them, would this deteriorate to this word? If not, what word should I use? Because what he said... I don't know. It didn't, it didn't sound convincing. Anyway, where are we going? Someplace. Not this episode, though, because we're out of times. So, Sandy Pines is the end for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Elex. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like, not a comment, but just a, a comment. That, that'd be nice if you would. Uh, a like as well, if you are interested in uh, the next, next episode coming out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.